I'll tell you what, kids, back in my day, there was only one way to multiply, and you learned it and you liked it, and that's just how it was. Well, anyway, that's how it seemed to be when I was a kid. I only learned one traditional way of multiplying, and it didn't make a lot of sense to me, but I did what I had to do. But now we live in a great time where math is much bigger and more awesome than it was back in my day, and we can find a way to multiply greater numbers that best fits us. You can use place value sections if you like that area model and you like uh, being able to kind of visualize the multiplication that way. You can use expanded notation or you can try what we're going to try today, algebraic notation, multiplication. And we're going to use a sample problem, four groups of 91 or four times 91. Now on the left we have an area model and we can kind of use that to give us a picture of what we're really doing and you can see how we have our factor of 4 and then we take our factor of 91 and we break it into its place value components of 90 and 1. We're going to do the same thing in algebraic notation. The big difference here is really just that when we look at algebraic notation it gives us a way to maybe do this just with naked numbers but maybe help us still see what's going on and it's pretty quick so we take our initial factors for groups of 91 and we keep our factor of 4 and we multiply that by 91 but we're gonna break it again into its place value components 90 and 1 now Here's what makes that nice and easy peasy cool. We are going to do a little bit of mental math. So this is really a good strategy for the folks who have got their multiplication facts on. And first, we're going to multiply 4 times 90. Well, I know that 4 times 9 is 36, and 36 times 10 is 360. Then going to pop that, uh, see the connection? I'm going to pop that, that uh, addition sign in. And I'm going to take my 4 and I'm going to multiply it by the 1's place, which is a 1. 4 times 1, good news, still 4. That leaves me with 360 plus 4. And that is pretty easy to add to 364. So four groups of 91 would be 364, and this is your basic algebraic notation method. So let's try that together. All right, clear things up. And how about we try a problem? Oh, I think I'm going to give uh, seven groups of 53. A try. And for fun, I like to really quickly draw that area model to keep my head in the game. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. That's just how I like to roll. Um, now to algebraic notation. Again, I'm going to start with my initial factors and I'm going to break them up much the way I did in the area model. I'm going to keep that 7 and I'm going to multiply it by 53 but I'm going to break that 53. I'm going to distribute those place values into 50 and 3. Now it's fun time. I get to take that 7 multiply it by that tens place value 50 and I know that would be like 7 times 5 times 10. Well 7 times 5 is 35 35 times 10, 350. And I can add that. Um, that's the, So that's a partial product, um, the tens place product. Now I need another partial product, the ones place product. 7 times 3, hooray for math facts, 21. Now, you know, if you get confused here and you want to go vertical, hey, that's what all that paper is for, or if you're lucky, maybe you've got a fancy iPad or something you're, you're rocking, but paper would be what most of us are probably going to be using. 
and I see that my partial product of 350 added to my partial product of 21 gives me 371. 7 groups of 53, 371. If you know your math facts, this stuff is pretty fast. If you don't, learn them, and then this stuff will be pretty fast. Algebraic notation. If you want to move away from that area model, you want to maybe make things a little bit cleaner or, t or take up less space, if you feel like you're ready, your brain is there, then maybe this is the method for you. Happy multiplying.